Hello everybody. I want to do a deck profile on the first place UFS United States Nationals deck list. My good friend Daniel Hughes played Athena and he came to me before the event and he's like, hey, I have uh, this Athena deck that I want to play. What do you think of it? So he sent me the link to UFS Ultra and I looked at it and I'm like, listen, Dan Hughes, if you want to play Athena, you should just play my deck because it's broken. All you do is just build and just kill them in one turn and that's all you got to do. So he showed up to Nationals with the deck and he added about like three cards to it and he ended up winning. So congratulations to Daniel Hughes. Uh, congratulations on becoming a national champion. You now have your own character card. And uh, let's get into the deck profile. All right, so the main character is Athena. She is a seven-hander that builds a free face-down foundation every turn. So she's basically an eight-hand size character. Um, her bottom ability allows her to drop down a foundation on her turn, so like she doesn't have to wait a turn to play a foundation. She can just put down a foundation. So a uh, very good tournament character, very solid, and a really good choice. For actions, we have three copies of Revoke. This card is uh, very good, stops any enhance ability. I was only playing two, but Dan Hughes put in a third, and that's probably correct because this card's just nuts. Now let's go on to our asset cards. We have one copy of Admiral Tufus Von McChompington. Um, what this card does is that it seals any one of your opponent's foundations. So the goal of this deck is to discard their entire hand and then just play a bunch of attacks which they can't block because they don't have a hand. So this card can stop foundations that l allow them to draw. It can also stop playable while committed foundations as well. So we only play one. Uh, at the end of the day, Dan Hughes told me, he's like, yeah, I'm actually glad I kept in all of the one ofs because every single one of them helped me sometime in the tournament. So uh, very good card, Admiral Tifus. One copy of Drew Maffei Line Buddy helps you find attacks and sculpt a kill turn. And then perhaps the strongest addition to the deck is Pulled My Trigger. Uh, what this card does is that every single attack you play gets plus three damage. So when they don't have a hand and they can't block, you don't need to play that many attacks because this gives you plus three damage. So it helps you win the game faster. Really powerful card. Then moving on to attacks, we have the centerpiece of the deck. Four Slaughterhouse and four Rain Flush. Uh, this is a very effective way to kill somebody, especially if they don't have a hand. Basically, you play Slaughterhouse, and then you do Rain Flush, and then you multiple one. And these are both seven damage a piece, so that's 14 damage. And then you can play another one, and then multiple one, and that's like 28 damage just with uh, two attacks. Uh, and that's excluding the Slaughterhouse and whatever other damage bonuses you have. So, again, four Slaughterhouse, four Rain Flush. Very effective way to kill somebody. Then we play four copies of Leaf Shield. This card is super mandatory. After you block with this, you take no damage from the attack. And in, additionally, it's a three difficulty attack, and it get, it's a low attack, so it gets the bonus off a of Slaughterhouse. So it's a low input, high output attack that you can just finish up the opponent with. Same goes for Kaitsen Teki Kototsu Ken. Again, three difficulty, uh, it's a low attack, so Slaughterhouse gives it a bonus. It's a low input, high output. This card is a little bit better than Leaf Shield uh, as far as offense goes because it gets free damage equal to half your face down foundations. Uh, it's also a low block with a breaker one, and Void is really hurting on low blocks. I only played three, but Dan Hughes added a fourth. Then we have one copy of Rolling Cutter. This card is super good. Um, in addition to it being a reversal, if this card is in your momentum at any time, and it's face up, you can add this to your hand to negate any speed bonus that your opponent plays. So, and that's even character abilities too. So this card is uh, super flexible. I like at least one reversal in most decks. Um, it's my personal belief that most decks should play at least one reversal just to catch the opponent off guard. And you can interrupt their turn uh, with a well-timed reversal. And then one copy of Maxima Laser. This is one of the tech cards in the deck. Athena builds a lot of free face downs, so there's a lot of times where you'll have like, you'll get like a rain flush face down, you'll have like a slaughterhouse face down, maybe even like a leaf shield as well. And you can just play maximal laser, pick all these up, and now you have lethal. You can just kill them right now. So a really flexible card. Another thing you can do is that like, you can rebuy face down foundations. So uh, if your opponent flips your stuff with like spinning power driver, hunt for spires and dragons, or even if you flip your own foundations for like damage reduction, like Athena's Knight, or caught red handed to, to stop a uh, card draw, you can just rebuy those cards and just play them again. So super flexible card. I like it a lot. Moving on to the foundations, four copies of 8,000 degrees, a uh, pretty staple-ish card, and four copies of Immoral Knowledge. Also, really powerful spam. 
We have four copies of Athena's Knight for damage reduction. And then we have four copies of Caught Red Handed, just to stop their draw cards. Especially defensive draw cards, because the goal of the deck is to discard their entire hand. So if they try to draw on your turn, you can just cancel it with Caught Red Handed. Then we have four copies of Dust in the Wind. Blocking is super important. It's how you survive in this game, uh, especially like early turn aggro. You have to block, and this card helps you block, especially against like speed pump decks and stuff like that. Then we have like the cornerstone of the deck: four copies of Silent Assassin. Um, so this is a unique foundation, but we play four of this mainly because Athena can cheat it in. So let's say you have a Silent Assassin in your staging area, and then a Silent Assassin in your hand, and then you play an attack. You can use uh, Enhance on Silent Assassin to discard a random card from their hand, and then you can use Athena, destroy face down foundation, put another one in your staging area, and then use it. So you just ra you randomly discard two cards from their hand, and then you usually have other cards that help you discard the rest of their hand too. So Silent Assassin is um, not like the gi it's like the gimmick of the deck, but it's a really good gimmick. It's really powerful. So four copies of Silent Assassin. Then we have two copies of the year 2000X. First enhanced destroy, both players discard one card. Just helps you, uh, just helps you control their hand. One cool thing about the year 2000X that I would like to touch on is that if the opponent sees this in your staging area, they tend to not play as many cards as they want, mainly because this is a threat and they acknowledge it's a threat. Like, oh, if I don't finish you off this turn, you're just gonna use this and discard my hand, so I'm gonna hold on to one extra card. So what that does is that it forces them to build less, and because you're Athena, you're just gonna build more than them. So once this is in your staging area, your opponent sees it, and especially if you have like a Silent Assassin down here too, the opponent is just not gonna play as many cards as they should, and uh, it just puts you in an, in an advantageous situation. So super good card, year 2000X. Two Mathematicians, this is a super good tech card. I like to think that it is underrated, uh, but I think people do understand how good this card is. Basically, you destroy this, it's playable while committed too. You destroy this and after your opponent's attack resolves, it gets flipped face down. So it doesn't go to their momentum, it's no longer an attack, it breaks their combos, it just does, it just does so much. It's a really good defensive card, and we played two of it. And then two copies of Shopaholic, helps you pick up your face downs. Um, if you have like a face down attack just chilling there and you play an attack and deals damage, you can just use this and scoop it up. You can also use this to help rebuy face down foundations. So really effective card. Then we move on to the one ofs. We play eight one of foundations, uh, one copy of Mechanical Maniac, just for the reasons that Shopaholic allows you to pick up a face down foundation. One of the best things is that this is a form. So like Shopaholic is response after your attack deals damage, but this is a form, so you can just do it as soon as your turn starts, basically. Uh, one copy of Invincible Iron Body. This card gives all of your attacks safe, so you don't have to worry about reversals. It also gives all your attacks plus one damage, so it helps you kill them faster. But perhaps the best thing about this card is that it is a plus one low block on Void. And Void is hurting for low blocks, so this card is uh, really good in the deck. We have one copy of the Land of Makai to help deal with problem foundations in multiples. So if they have like three of the same foundation out, you can just use this and commit all of them. We have one copy of Alpha Male. This is the only card in the deck that does not have the Void symbol. But that's because Athena can just put this card down. What this is, this is like a third copy of Silent Assassin in the same turn. So let's say, for example, you have two of these. And you have like this in your staging area, that one's in your hand. And then you have one copy of the year 2000 next down here too. And you have Alpha Male in your staging area. All right, so what you can do is you can uh, Slaughterhouse or any attack, then you first enhance, make him uh, discard a card, then you can Sound Assassin, make him discard a random card, then you can Athena, put down Sound Assassin, make him discard a random card, then you remove Alpha Male, bring back in Sound Assassin from your discard pile, and then use it again. So you just discarded four cards from their hand, and you have a Slaughterhouse on board, probably like two Rain Flushes, and you're going to win. So that's like a really cool way to strip the opponent's hand. And uh, really, only, only Athena can do this like super consistently, mainly because like, of the consistency of the character. So super good uh, combo there. And then we have one copy of From Mother Russia. Uh, whenever they uh, draw a card, do their non-character effect, or add something to their hand, 
um, you can commit this and they have to add one card from their hand to the card pool face down. So it helps stifle the cards in their hand, helps uh, keep, keep cards out of their hand so you can uh, win faster. Same with one copy of Esoteric Yoga. Uh, whenever they add a number of cards to their hand, you commit this and they discard one card. So it keeps their hand size low so that you can pitch their hand and win the game. Then we have one copy of High School Crush, uh, just additional speed hate, helps you block attacks. And then one copy of Damnation. It's one of the best foundations in the game. Um, cancels any enhance ability on foundations. So if they try to draw with something on a foundation, nope. If they try to give a big damage bonus, nope. It's like super good card. So that's the deck. It is 63 total cards. Let's move on to the sideboard. We have three copies of Stop. This card is super good, pretty much against any character. Against an offensive character, it just straight out ends their turn. You're like, okay, I mean, your, your turn's just not gonna be effective anymore because your character's committed. So uh, this card stops offensive characters. It also stops defensive characters too, because if they attack you and you block with this, you commit their character, they no longer have that defensive option on your turn. So three stop, super good. Then we have one copy of Team K-Dash, just a, a card plus one mid block with a breaker two, really good against early aggro decks. Then we have a second copy of Pulled My Trigger as additional uh, damage bonus. Dan Hughes actually sided in the second copy of this uh, during the finals, and then he won on like turn two or three because of uh, the damage bonus. We have one copy of Stronger Than All. Uh, this reduces the attack to its printed damage. So one of the most popular attacks at Nationals was Flying Yamato Spear. It's 6 speed, high zone for 6 damage with a multiple 1. Now, because the multiple attack is face down, the printed values on the card is 0. So this puts the damage to 0 on a multiple. So you just destroy this foundation and basically stop their entire attack. Really good sideboard card. And same with one copy of J-Pop Star. It's the same exact thing. Uh, you remove this, you pay life equal to the attack's printed damage, and then you discard it from their card pool. So for example, the multiples printed damage is zero, so when the multiple copy comes in, all right, first enhance, remove this, pay zero life, negate your attack. Super good. And then one copy of Wally's Master Creation to help against actions. So there you go. That is the deck that Daniel Hughes used to win the 2017 United States UFS National Championship. Congratulations to Daniel Hughes, you deserved it. And if anybody has any questions about the deck, just post them in the comments below. I read all of them. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.